Hello, this is Hoffman Trifo Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can create a sky in Blender without using any add ons at all. It's just straight Blender. And we're going to divide our window up uh, so we can see the progress we're making up here at the top. And once you've done that, you can apply this technique to any version of Blender because it's done inside of Blender. And we're going to turn this uh, viewport to the, let me see, the shader editor. Click on that. And let's see the results down here. Let me switch out my window. Let's see, vertical s splits now. Uh, swap areas, yeah, that's it. So we want to see the results of what we're doing here, up here. Uh, so got a cat issue happening outside my window here. But I'm going to ignore that. And let's delete this cube. Delete that. And we're going to turn this from the let me see the uh down here we're going to turn from object to world. And with this technique you can it works in EV and it works in cycles too. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a color ramp in our node editor by pressing shift A. And we're going to go to converter and we'll find our color ramp right here. Let's click on that. Hold down your middle mouse button, drag it over so you can have more room to work with here. Let's minimize that, close that out. And to close windows or close uh, the toolbar, tool panel, just hover your mouse over uh, this side, and when it turns to a double arrow, left click and drag, and that closes that out. But after we add our color ramp, we're going to add a noise texture. So press Shift A again, go to texture, and noise texture, click on that. And now we're going to cl connect the color from our color ramp to the background color node here. L left click and drag. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to connect uh, the factor of our noise texture to the factor of our color ramp here. Left click and drag this also. Now we're not seeing anything up here just yet. Because we're going to have to change the viewport shading to the uh, last, uh, I guess the last uh, icon here, which is a viewport shading. Let's click on that. And we have this going on, which is the result of our color ramp happening here and now with uh, the noise texture highlighted and white here when you click on a node in blender uh, anything from 2.8 and above it turns white has a white outline around this so once you see that white outline around your noise texture uh, press ctrl t and if you press ctrl t nothing happens that means your nose wrangler isn't uh, enabled and to enable the node wrangler go to edit preferences and make sure this is on add-on and click type in node and you'll see here node wrangler just put a check in the box there and it's activated and then once we've done that we're going to change the connection from our texture coordinate to our mapping coordinates and we're going to click on object here connect the object of the texture coordinate to the vector of the mapping node and once that's done we're going to change the scaling in our noise texture I've seen that 200 to 250 works pretty good so let's click and type in 200 and enter and you can see that it's kind of uh, like this this would be good for a skin texture but we're just we're just trying to pretty much um, get stars instead so in order to see the stars we're going to click on our uh, this black uh, position here we're going to click and drag left click and drag it up until we get this and that's your starlit sky it works in Eevee and it works in uh, cycles and you can increase the number of stars or decrease them by moving the slider here when you move it up you have less stars 
You move it down, you have more stars. You can even add colors in here by pressing the plus button. And then um, to change the color, to change the color of any of these, uh, you want to keep the black black and keep the white white because that is the main theme of creating the stars. And with the middle one, left click on that and click inside the color bar there and just change it to red. And all your stars turn red. You can click in there again, change it to green, they turn green. Click again, change it to blue. Yeah, so that's how you can make stars in Blender. You can, if you don't want color in there, you can just highlight or click on the slider there and press minus, and that gets rid of that. But yeah, that's how you can make a starlit sky in Blender without having to use add-ons at all. It's a quick and easy way to do it, and it looks uh, looks pretty good. It's not blotch or anything. It just looks 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 nice. And that's today's Blender quick tip. And I hope this was helpful to those of you who have been watching the video. Once again, thank you guys who have subscribed to the channel, those of you who are subscribing now, and those of you who will subscribe in the future. Really appreciate you guys, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.